and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Omogwe. Good to see you from wherever you're watching us. This is Sports This Morning on your award-winning channels, television. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Let's begin today uh, talking about what's going down in the Nigeria Professional Football League. Showdown in Calabar. Ayimba having the chance to go up on the table, but they will be coming up against Platsu United. A win for any of them would change the look of things on the league table in the Nigerian Professional Football League. So, uh, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens in that one right there in Calabar today, 4 p.m. Nigerian time. The Clash of Titans, some has called it a big game in the Nigerian Professional Football League. And of course, move straight to the UEFA Champions League. It was a thriller in Turin. Juventus just couldn't hold on to that 2-0 uh, advantage they had in 10 minutes as Spurs had to stun them right there in Italy, ended in a 2 order. And of course, on the other side, Manchester City ensuring that they're laying a stake in the Champions League this season, 4-0 over FC Basel. Also on the program, we'll be talking about the Winter Olympics, Pyeongchang, where you have uh, some games have been postponed. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about the slalom women's event. So it's been postponed to Friday uh, simply because of the wind. High winds and high winds and high winds. That's what's been happening, you know, at the winter games. Well, but then we'll start off with the NBA, that's where we're starting from this morning. Of course, some yep. interesting results on the night. We have the Cavs and the Thunder meeting. And of course, some other interesting results. Yeah, surely. Uh, a lot of interesting results uh, in, in the NBA. And that's where we start off. Uh, that's it uh, on screen. So let me just say, ladies first, take a look <laughs> at some of these results. Interesting ones, yeah. um, I dare say. And um, uh, it, it's hotting up and we're mm -hmm. enjoying it. Yeah, definitely. The Raptors and the Heat, it was 115-112 for the Raptors winning that one. The Milwaukee Bucks and the Hawks, uh, Giannis had to step up a little bit after that slow start for them to be able to beat the Hawks by 97-92 points. Minnesota Timberwolves and the Houston Rockets, where the Rockets had to hit uh, 10 three-pointers. That was in the fourth quarter. That was how they were able to pull away for a 1-2-6 and 1-0-8 victory. And Tuesday night, extended that the winning streak to nine. James Harden had 34 points, so over six, re six rebounds in that one. Ray Anderson was another player who came up, scoring 21 points off the bench. And of course, Minnesota Sydney Timberwolves, their 13 game home winning run ended. The last time they lost was December 16. That was a long time ago at home. But Carl Anthony tried and had 35 points, 12 rebounds. But then that just wasn't enough because when you have this guy's James had all of them coming up to score high points then. <laughs> the other teams, they are usually in trouble. The Dallas Mavericks and the Kings, it was 109 and 114. Sacramento Kings winning that one. Devon Nuggets and Spurs. Now, this was another shocker of the night. Devon Nuggets beating the Spurs by 117 to 109. And of course, the game of the night, that's what I'll call it. The game between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Cleveland mm -hmm. Cavaliers. Now the Cavs, you remember the last time they, the last time they had this game, it was 148-124. Uh, yes, that was the last time, January 20th, with a different roster. But this time around, you have uh, LeBron James playing with more like new teams, so to speak. I mean, here he was able to have after 40 minutes having 37 points. Uh, eight rebounds and eight assists. Uh, funny enough, in this game, you have Paul Joe scoring 25 points, Camilo Anton 24 points. Of course, Russell Westbrook returning after being out, misses a two game four because of sprained ankles, having 21 points, 12 assists, and seven rebounds. But that just wasn't enough because when you have a new player coming into a new team, I mean, they just had to step up and help LeBron out on this one. Yeah. Jordan Classen, <laughs> Rodney Hood, Larry Nance, all of them. Royal performance from the king, uh, <laughs> King James. Um, you would always expect him to do that. 40 minutes on court, had seven points, eight rebounds, eight assists. Um, I'm impressed. You know, and um, he's admitted that, look, if he's going to have to stay in, at the Cavs, he, he has to keep putting up these superhuman yeah. uh, performances mm. to power, power his team, you know, make them hedge pass uh, teams that have, you know, you know, superstars uh, that are delivering. And um, uh, kudos to King James uh, being able to do that. I just pray that exhaustion along the way, uh, you know. <laughs> yes, I'm talking I, about I, King James now. Yeah, the I'm talking about man. King James now. <laughs> I, 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 the I, royal man, I'm not sure. Exhaustion well, coming. Oh, yeah, that's it. I, this I'm new not blood sure. that being injected into the team, I don't think so. Okay, we'll see. Um, you know, I, I'm just not sure you'll be able yeah. to do it all the time, you know, because at some point, you know, you, you get tired. All right, let's go to South Korea uh, and talk about this one. Uh, as much as the organizers, uh, you know, 
played down on the issues about weather, the winds, and everything. Uh, it got to a head, and now they have decided uh, that the women's slalom event will be shifted to Friday. They've admitted that, okay, well, the weather is playing uh, a very big part in everything uh, that is um, happening right there. Cecilia, I mean, close to the organizers, they, they've dubbed a lot of issues, and they will always forthright when issues come up. Okay, well, this is what is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, at some point, you know, the organizers were saying, oh, we could handle this. Mm -hmm. But now, as far as the IOC, Mark Adams coming to say, well, if this kind of weather lasts for 15 days, we don't know what we're going <laughs> to do. <laughs> but, but for well, now, first, yeah. for now, mm -hmm. we'll shift this to Friday. Hopefully, we'll get a good weather and the slalom events can go on.